What's going on everyone? It is officially hoodie season. What car are you most pumped about in this run it backpack? We got 99 Don Mattingly, 98 Edwin, 97 Kyber Ruiz, Nolan Gorman, Tyreek Scooble. We got Jason Hayward, Angelton Simmons, Houston Street, Luis Severino, Steve Shishak, and Eugenio Suarez. A sick load of diamonds added to the game today through this pack that you can obtain for free over and over again. Who excites you the most in this pack? Let me know down below. I'm going to open up multiple of these packs and finish the entire program right here in this video play through break down make sure you enjoy this content you hit that thumbs up down below let's get into this content We're kicking off October with the new Daily Moments rewards. We have Yadier Molina and Wade Davis player rewards. When you get that bronze Wade Davis, you can upgrade him to the diamond 97 overall, and then the silver Yadi can be upgraded to the 98 gold glove awards Yadier Molina. But the new player reward, look at my Phillies getting some love here. Jim Tomey, 99 overall signature series card. And then you go to the stats. Look, I'm not trying to be negative here, but look at this car. When you put this signature series Jim Tomey and then overlay it with the 96 Indians Jim Tomey that already exists, he is slightly better against lefties, but let's be real, still a platoon, especially this time of year. And his contact is more than 10 points lower. That's such a big deal with your PCI size. So like in all actuality, and what you're gonna use this card for, the 96 is better, sadly. So while I like this Jim Tomey, it's a dope card art and he has a great swing in the game. I'm sure this card's gonna be really good. He is definitely not gonna be making end game like rank season squads right now, unless you just want to use Jim Tomey, which there's nothing wrong with that. He's definitely not one of the top dogs. I kinda wish they would have either juiced him up a little bit or just had this as a separate player program. But nonetheless, we get a really cool signature series card that is free. All you gotta do is grind those daily moments. And today's daily moment to kick off October October was four total bases with Roberto Clemente. Yeah, in the gap, Roberto Clemente, first pitch, first swing. Is that gonna maybe be three? That'll be a, okay, we just need a base knock now and we're done, that's three bags. Now coming up here in the sixth, though we should get at least one more at bat either way. Oh, we got a hanging curve, but I got underneath of it. We're gonna need that extra at bat. And we're gonna rip that the center. Line drive, base hit, we're done! One attempt, bang! And now moving on to the big stuff from today. The run it back packs and players. Go to your player programs, go into the run it back program, the 90, now look at Jared, man. Look at Jared, the 90 point reward, 115, 99, 110, 100 hitting stats this card's insane diamond defense 85 speed 80 stealing sick card and we've had his diamond cards in the past we know he has a solid swing people are going to want this one in fact he's already all been locked there's only one person that has him parallel too so this is not the easiest grind here this run it back let me show you how to do because you're going to get some good stuff here along with jared you got the all-star game pack a run it back pack at 50 points the home run derby pack at 60 you get a 97 no hitter fernando valenzuela at 70 points 115 hits per nine that's big four pitch mix screwball fastball curveball changeup only throws 92 on the fastball but as we know very filthy stuff screwball has 99 control 94 control on the fastball and the changeup 84 on the curve so it should be easy to locate with valenzuela tough pci size on that 115 hits per nine card could be deadly there's a lot of fireballers with outlier and whatnot this time of year so it's kind of tough but this should be a funky card and then you got that flashback lightning matt carpenter from july of 2018 look at the stats 100 110 120 113 silver defense third base second base as secondary this card though is kind of a prime example of what i mean they go so crazy over juicing like the player of the month stuff and the tops now stuff why not over exaggerate the signature series of a hall of fame player like jim tomey i mean come on it's october 
No reason he couldn't have 100-100 contact and juice that card up. This Matt Carpenter card is sick, though, and he's going to rate. So you need 100 points to get that extra running back pack, and that pretty much will just be a bonus, because at that point, you're going to already need to have gotten some running back players. You're going to get that Jared card at 90. Again, if you go down here, you have that conquest map that you need to complete. This will give you 35 points. This is the most points you can get in one punch. 35 and I am just one stronghold from completing this it is four strongholds that you need to take over you start with the stronghold down there on the bottom left and then you make your way up and around towards the Dodgers I am going to jump into this three inning game real quick against the Dodgers get this done grab that 35 points the first thing I did though before I grinded through that was the showdown I have 15 points because that's what the showdown is worth that's the first thing that I completed I got this done if you're running jump into the running back it's actually repeatable. If you go down here to the final boss, you can get a run it backpack over and over and over again by completing this showdown. So when you go to do the missions, which I'm about to explain, if you don't want to pay for them on the marketplace, you can get multiple of them by doing the showdown over and over again. The showdown is three mini bosses where you can acquire a gold batter, a diamond batter, and then two diamond batters on the third, and then you jump into the final boss at the end. If you complete all three mini bosses, you're only going to be down by one with 15 outs to work with, so it's super easy. And the mini bosses are even easier to score one run in the first First one, two in the second, and three in the third. And your team's nasty. It does cost 500 subs to enter, though, so there's a little bit of a gamble there, but you'll make that back just by completing the first two mini bosses. And it's awesome that you can get those free diamonds over and over again through the path. So, in my opinion, what you should do is the showdown, then do the conquest, and then grind out that pack. So you can get a bunch of the players and start knocking out the missions. Missions are what we're going to jump in and start finishing as soon as I finish that conquest game. So go down here into the missions. And you'll see here each mission is worth five points. So you're throwing the math there. You got 35 for the conquest map, 15 for the showdown. That puts you at 50. If you do all four missions, that's 20 points. It'll put you at 70. But the missions are repeatable. You got to get 20 hits. 10 extra base hits, 40 total bases, and 20 strikeouts with the pitchers. I'm probably just going to jump into CPU games and play until I get to that 20th hit and then jump out and restart and repeat that process until I get it done. But first, let's finish Conquest and then we'll build our squad and take care of the missions. And if you enjoy this playthrough, breakdown, gameplay of these cards we're about to get, make sure you hit that thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe. I do have the parallel squad out for this game, of course, working on the cards that we want to get parallel. Five, Trey Turner is currently sitting at 8,739 and we have multiple cards over 8,000. So it's about time we get a parallel squad update soon. We need some guys to get over the line. I take these Conquest grinds seriously for this reason. As usual, when I'm grinding, I will play it out very seriously until I get a multi-run lead. Once I get a multi-run lead, um, I'll then get out on purpose after I get hits. I won't bunt to get out just to move it all. I know some people will just bunt and get out on purpose real quickly. Um, I'll at least try and get base hits just to get the extra points, and then I'll get out on purpose on the bases. And if I home hit a home runs... So be it, those are bonus points. And there's a two-run bomb from Marcus Simeon, who's almost done. We can start getting through this a little faster now. Seven out of seven completed on the Conquest. Now that I just beat the Dodgers, we completed the map. We got the pack where we will get to choose one player. And since that got the program to 50 points, it will also give us the extra pack from the program. So if I go to my packs now, you're gonna see I actually have three of these run it back pack. We got one from the conquest map, one from the showdown, one from the 50 point marker in the program. Pack number one. <laughs> I guess we gotta take Don Mattingly, he's the 99. Run it back, I guess. We did not get our big dog in here, but we are gonna take Edwin out of this one. Get the other big bat, and now in the third and final pack, we are going to get... Ah, uh, do I go EU? Hey, no! I'm going to take the Future Stars card. I feel like they put them two milestone cards in the game a day now at this point. The next collection is probably going to have so many milestone options. One eternity later. And that strikeout right there should do it. I believe that was the 20th or 21st. The 21st. So we cleared the 20 strikeouts. 
I believe we had exactly 20 hits. Trey Turner had three, so I believe we had exactly 20 hits. 13 of those hits were extra base hits, so we should have cleared the total bases as well, which means that since that is my second time doing this over the last hour and 10 minutes, we should be done. That also just got scooped. My guy Tyreek just went up the parallel one. Matt Carpenter and Big Jerry. Look at all this. Look at that. That is a beautiful post screen screen to be looking at right there. And then remember, if you get to 100 points, you have to do two more missions to get that extra 10 points and get you to 100. I'm going to do it organically. I got the card that I wanted, but that extra pack, just two more missions, get it done, get another free player. Prices on those cards are gonna come down to most likely quick sell value at some point, so the sooner the better on getting the extra ones. Darren Koenig in center field, I am gonna debut him tonight, today, on YouTube, along with the 97 Fernando Valenzuela no-hitter card. I have both and all of the guys unlocked from this program now, and I'm about to record their rank debut right now, so if you enjoyed this one or you wanna see that one, hit the thumbs up down below. It took me an hour and ten minutes to do that mission grind and it took me about three and a half hours in total to complete the entire program showdown conquest and all of the missions and that's me getting it done first time through no issue so really this is like a one weekend grind for most people well i'm banging out these are some really good cards and once again they feed you a bunch of other packs as well so once again they made it worth it along with the focus cards that you get in here as well and i got another variety pack opening cooking for maybe tomorrow night i don't know man we got this video i'm about to record this debut we have wager wheel and pack squads tomorrow and i got another variety pack opening now i i don't even know man just have your notifications on use code shelby at checkout for 20 bucks off your sea geek tickets and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace